Hey guys, it's Jerome Jr. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Kodi on that Amazon Fire Stick. Um, this one particularly I'm doing it on is the brand new one that just recently was released in October, which is the Amazon Fire Stick with the Alexa voice remote. So I'm going to go ahead and go by a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install Kodi and basically just to set you guys up on how you can start using that program. If you don't know what Kodi is, Kodi is a program out there that allows you to um, install, they call add-ons, to watch um, movies and videos and TV shows for free. I don't know, people call it jailbreaking, you just, you just install an app. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So don't go out there and buy one for like $100 or $60, $70 off of eBay. Just go ahead and do it yourself. So let's jump right into it. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go all the way down to the settings, guys. Once you get down to settings, you wanna scroll over to system, click system, go down until you see developers options, and um, you just wanna turn on apps from a known sources. What that allow you to do is install like applications that are not from the app store i mean you really don't need to do this so um that's the only one you have to do not a b d bug and you don't have to mess with that one so once you've done that you'll go back what you want to do is you want to go to the app store now and once you go to the app store you know when it's you want to install well i thought it would pop up but it don't look like it's popping up in here as easy oh yeah it is Top free, you want to install ES File Explorer. So you, it's usually in the top free, or you can go search it in the search bar. Either way, this is what you need to install. You go down and get and press it. It's going to go ahead and install it. It's downloading, it's downloading. Okay, installing. All right, guys, once it um, finish installing. Go ahead and hit open. Uh, your tip. Mm -hmm. Go through all of those setups. It's the first time installing the app, guys. You just go ahead and hit next. All right. Give it a minute to open up. Okay, once it's open, so just gonna hit OK. We're gonna hit cancel update. I don't want it to update. Not right now. I'm gonna go over, go to favorite guys, click favorites and click add. Alright. Now type exactly what I type. Alright guys. So what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna type H or T T T I'm looking for the S. Colon. You're going to do backward slash. Two backward slashes, guys. K. O. D I we're gonna install Cody by the way. Um T Y and another backward slash guys and then you're gonna type the word download. All right, guys, once you have that inside there typed, go ahead and hit next. All right. Feel free to pause the video on that last part I did. So on the next thing, name or whatever, just for not to get confused and for naming conventions, I'm going to name it Cody. Okay. All 
All right. Once you do that, click next. And then we're going to go to add. All right. So once that happens, what you're going to want to do next is you're going to go down to that new nice favorite thing we made named Cody and click it. What you're going to do is open up the web link. All right, once you see this page, what you want to do is scroll down. This is a pretty long page, guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way down until you get to the Android logo. Make sure down here, down here, right here, guys. You're going to make sure that you have the cursor over the ARM for this Cody right here. And you click it. Give it a minute. It takes a minute. Then it should start downloading. All right, guys. Now it's downloading. It legitly took it on oh, mine's about a good four minutes to download the well, for the screen to pop up. It might vary on you guys. But I did have to go back and do that one step that I told you guys I thought I wouldn't need. So uh yeah. Once the download is complete, what you guys are gonna want to do is you wanna choose the option to open file. Once you do that, you wanna go ahead and select install file so I mean you're going to install it if you install it's going to pop this up it's going to ask about um, permissions yes go ahead and grant it permission so we're going to go down hit install so what you're going to do is that the install is done you're going to go ahead and hit open and it's going to say prepare to install so if you made it this far man you successfully um, install Cody so I mean this is the hardest part you can say after this it gets pretty dang easy now it's just installing um, just like what you can call add-ons for you to actually be able to um, access content free content and stuff like that so now I'm gonna show you how to do that all right what I'm gonna show you guys how to install is called fusion so first, what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down to systems, guys. And then from systems, you want to go to file management, manager. Click file manager. You want to add source. Click none. And then I want you guys to copy exactly what I write, okay? All right, guys, once you have typed this in, what you want to go to is you want to go ahead and hit done. All right, guys, once you hit done, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and name the media source. Let's name it Fusion. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. I'm going to just do it all lowercase. It doesn't matter. Just the fact is we know and we can identify it, okay? So if you do that, you type in fusion, hit done. Once you hit done, you're gonna hit okay. Alright. So now we added a source named fusion. Okay guys. Next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we wanna go to systems settings. And we want to go all the way down to add-on. Alright guys. Just hit OK if you get this pop-up. Being that it's our fir my first time opening it. Um, this is exactly what you're going to end up getting. So I'm doing this all first time for you guys too. So um, okay, once you do that, you want to go down to install from zip file. Alright. Once you get here. You want to go ahead and click Fusion and click. It's called Begin Here. So we're going to go ahead and click Begin Here. 
then you're gonna want to click install you want to install 1.29 which is the first one click install you're gonna wait a minute once it's installed, you see how it shows in the right bottom corner? That add-on is installed. Once that is done, you know you complete and did it right. So after that, you, what you want to do is you to go back to get to the home. You're going to click Programs. Go to Program Add-on. And you're going to want to install the add-on installer. So I'm going to click it and it's launching. Alright guys, when you get to this screen, what you can go ahead and do is you can go ahead and, for example, go to Feature, Add-ons. And I'm going to install Exodus. I'm going to click it. I'm going to click Install. Then, yes. Okay, once it's done installing, okay, so it's done installing, have been installed, brought to you by whatever. So what you're going to do after that, you're able to go all the way back to the home screen. So from now on, you want to, like, you know, you're going to open this up, you're going to go to videos, and go to add-on, and it's going to show everything you installed. So I install Exodus, for example. Um, yeah, I installed, before Exodus, I did install one channel, and I was going to upload that and show you guys, but for some reason at that moment it wasn't working, I'm pretty sure it's working now, but I'm going to go ahead and click it, and it'll pop up, and you know, from here, there you go. Hey guys, hopefully that tutorial was helpful for you guys, um, if any of you guys are encountering any issues, feel free to uh, leave a comment below, I'm going to reply, and I have no problem with helping you guys. I do know um, an alternative way of doing it. So, just let me know. If y'all enjoy the video, please hit the thumbs up. Let me know I'm doing a good job. And um, go ahead and subscribe. If you don't know who I am, check out my channel. I have reviews and stuff and I do other how-to videos. You know? So, um, I always forget on every video, so let me remember. I'm on Twitter now, so you guys can find me and follow me if y'all want to know when the next up and coming video is going to be about and when it's going to go up. So, like always, it was a pleasure. Drum Junior out, guys.